Okay, so I have an awning. I'm just figuring out how to mount it. So I have round crossbars, so it makes it a little harder. And what you need is a rubber bump stop, um, one of these washers with teeth on it. Uh, here's the bump stop before it's cut. Washers and a long bolt um, that has this on it. I don't know what these are called. But anyway, uh, this is what it looks like in the end. And when you put the washer on and then tie it down with a nut, um, it'll compress this rubber and squish it into this tube and pretty much make this a stud sticking out to where you can mount your awning. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, this is what you start out with. This is a dollar at um, Lowe's. It just comes in a little pack like this. And then all that, and that's all you need. Excuse the fan noise, because it's 105 degrees out today, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, drill the hole into the bump stop so it'll fit, so the bolt will go through it. Okay, centered enough, not perfect, but whatever. And I need to pull this off. that nut and it'll make that expand and not come out. I guess I'll tighten it, see how tight it is. I'll go ahead and tighten it. It's obviously just hand tight but I can't even pull it out with just a couple turns. Oh god. Yeah it's tight. It's not coming out. So I'll just trim this bolt. It's a little long but yeah now we can mount the awning on it. Finally got everything all ground down, perfectly fitted and ready to go. This one's already installed like you guys saw. And uh, yeah, this is like really strong. So I think we're good on that. So now of course we have the awning, the awning itself needs the plate for this to uh, mount on. And these came with the awning. Um, I'll put a link to this awning specifically. Um, I got it on eBay. It's made by Yescom. It's Y-E-S-C-O-M, I think. And um, it comes with this, the rope, bolts, wrenches, like more brackets. It comes with a lot of crap for how much it is. And I'm like pretty impressed with the quality of it. So these, this is the bolt slides in. Then you're gonna have another bolt that slides in the bottom here. And then this plate, it's gonna mount on those two bolts. You need to drill out that one. And then this one right here is what the, uh, what this is gonna go on and actually hang on to. So we just need to go ahead and drill this, mount it, mount this to that, and then go ahead and put it on the van and see what it looks like. All right, so here is everything all complete. Everything's done. We got our brackets cut. And then what we made with the uh, rubber bump stop and all that is inside here, clearly holding. And then just made a uh, plate with the hole on top and then the two obviously to go on the slider. And that's it. This is a uh, stainless, came with the uh, Yescom awning. None of my drill bits actually cut it, I don't know why, but this crap is really strong. So we actually took it to a machine shop, had them cut it for us. So it's really good, really strong. You can see I can, I'm tugging on it and it's shaking the whole van. So uh, yeah, it's not coming anywhere. And uh, this is only supported by two. I've seen um, the, idea I got this from the video of the guy he had three on there so this one this way back here isn't I mean it's a little wobbly but I don't it's not going anywhere so I think it's okay maybe in the future I'll get another roof rack bar but I think we're okay for now so we're ready to go it's pretty simple pretty straightforward just follow the steps and uh, yeah you'll have this and it looks super clean really flush and uh, it works what really matters. Thanks for watching.